An ultrasound scan is uh, very much like a dolphin's uh, echolocation system. It bounces sound waves off tissues. An x-ray is uh, a picture taken with radiation which passes through the body, so it enables you to get information from inside. Uh, a CT scan is uh, a complicated x-ray when the x-ray machine spins around a gantry uh, all the way around the clock face, takes a picture at every point on the clock face and uh, combines them to form a, a, a cross-sectional image. And an MRI scan is uh, it's a magnetic environment where the magnetic field enables us to generate a small radio signal from the molecules in the body. And because this signal is very small, it takes a long time to build up a picture. There, there, there is no uh, typical uh, body part. Each of the imaging modalities is capable of looking at any body part potentially. Um, and the decision as to which one is most appropriate really lies with the consultants who are referring and the radiology consultants. However, it would be uh, usual to have a, an ultrasound of your kidneys, for example, an x-ray of your chest, a CT scan of your abdomen, um, and an MRI scan of, let's say, a knee joint. When a radiologist looks at a scan, they are essentially working from the referral letter which they've received, or the request form. This will detail the patient's problem and what the referring doctor is hoping, what information they're hoping to get from the scan. So um, the key thing they'll do is to start by looking at why the patient's having the scan and then they'll base their interpretation on that and they'll try to answer the question that the referring consultant is answering. Scans are used uh, in the majority of times for, for diagnosis, uh, that is to find out uh, information in, in, in able to better understand uh, a patient's uh, condition. They're also used for screening sometimes, so to take a group of, of, of people who might be at risk and, and to, to, to look at them to check that they don't have a certain thing, for example, a breast screening. Um, and then uh, they would also be used for surveillance. So if somebody's having ongoing treatment, to see how that treatment's getting on, to see how it's effective it is, um, and that might go on for, for months or even years. Yes, there are injections sometimes. Some scans need injections. CT scans are commonly carried out with an injection of contrast, which is a fluid which essentially lights up on the scan and it helps the scan to provide a slightly better level of information and similarly an MRI scan uh, can also be done with a, a contrast injection. Contrast doesn't have any side effects uh, once you've had the scan. Uh, the body eliminates it uh, quite quickly. There are a few uh, considerations we make uh, before you have a contrast enhanced scan. You will be asked to complete a safety screening form uh, just to make sure that you don't have any contraindications uh, to that kind of contrast. A contraindication is a reason why it might not be uh, appropriate for you to have that contrast at that time. During the scans, the radiographer will watch you the whole time. They'll be watching you from where they're sitting. They'll also have a camera that looks at you from the other end of the scanner as well. So they'll be aware of exactly what you're doing during the scan.